Alright, my mind reader is finally here. I can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> wow, it looks amazing. With this here mind reader, I can finally change the future and study the worlds of others, and Bikini Bottom will be a safe, lovable place. The next day. What's up, dudes? You guys want to hear a joke? How many licks does it take to get to the center part of a clam pot? I don't know, Scooter. How many licks does it take to get to the center part of a clam pot? Clamity 8? <laughs> you know what, Scooter? Screw off. You're just wasting our time. All right, SpongeBob. I was just messing with you. I guess I'll see you guys later then. <laughs> Talk about filler, Patrick. Yeah, I don't even know why you came over today. Hey, Patrick, you notice something over there? Yeah, I see Sandy holding this weird controller-like thing. You're right, Patrick. It is Sandy. Fascinating. Squidward's leaving the bargain mart with a bag of groceries. I wonder what his mind is reading. When I get done putting up my groceries, I'm gonna enjoy a nice candlelight dinner. A nice candlelight dinner? What's Squidward doing at 7 o'clock in the morning eating dinner? Hello, Squidward. Nice bag of groceries you got there. Yeah, you don't mind sharing them with us, do ya? Well, howdy there, guys. Hello there, Sandy. Uh, what you got there in your hands? Oh, it's a mind reader. A mind reader? What does it do? Well, Patrick, it reads people's minds and I can understand what they're thinking of. Whoa, that sounds cool. Hey, can you read our minds? Yes, Andy, can you read ours? Why, certainly. I can read anybody's mind. All right! You ready, SpongeBob? I'm gonna read your mind first. Oh, I'm definitely ready, Sandy. Okay, just close your eyes and let the mind reader do its job. Okay, Sandy, my eyes are closed. You know what? I'm in a perfectly good mood to go out and jellyfish, eat Krabby Patties, and hang out with my two dearest friends, Patrick and Sandy. Hey guys, I thought of something. Why don't we go out jellyfishing, eat Krabby Patties, and hang out? Ho <laughs> ho, funny thing, SpongeBob. That's exactly what we got from the mind reader. Oh, really? Oh, I wasn't planning on thinking of something like that. Okay, Sandy, it's my turn now. Okay, Patrick, just do the exact same thing as SpongeBob. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty, partner, just hold still and I'll read your mind. Oh, man, you know what I'm thinking of right now? Bathing in my own feces. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, Patrick, that's really disgusting. Oh, yeah, rub those brown feces over my face. Uh, Patrick, um, you can open your eyes now, buddy. Oh, SpongeBob, I thought of something really cool. Rolling around in my own feces. Yeah. Well, Sandy, since you've read our minds, now it's your turn to read your own mind. Yes, yeah, Sandy, I want to know what you're thinking of. Uh, I don't know about that, guys. I don't think the mind reader's gonna work on me. Oh my god. Sandy, you are a scientist, and scientists do not give up that easily. Just give it a try, Sandy. I'm depending on you. Yeah, Sandy, just give it a little try or something. All right, boys, I'll try, and if it doesn't work, then I don't know what else to do. Okay, let's see. Um, how do you work this thing to work on yourself? Um, um... We hurry the f up! Oh, here it is, fellas. It might be this button. Uh, Sandy, um, you don't look too good. Uh, you okay? Uh, Sandy? Sandy, please say something. You're scaring me with that face. Uh, SpongeBob, I think she's brain dead. Sandy! Sandy! <laughs> ah! Howdy there, partners! It's your old pal Sandy Cheeks, and I'm gonna marry all Yeehaw! Sandy, what the heck happened to you? What's two plus two? 39! SpongeBob, I think the mind reader screwed up Sandy's brain. She's completely crazy. I know, Patrick. We gotta stop this. Home, home on the range. Where the deers and the antelope play. Patrick, quickly go inside my house and grab my mallet. I have an idea. Yes, SpongeBob. Anything to stop Sandy. Back in Texas, I used to sell propane and propane accessories. I don't even know what that stuff is. 
Okay, SpongeBob, I found your mallet. Good, Patrick. Now I want you to go over there and give Sandy a nice smack in the noggin. Sir, yes, sir. The cow goes oink, the duck goes woof, and the cat goes nay. Howdy there, weirdo. What you gonna do with that thing? <laughs> All right, you two thieves, where am I? Welcome to SpongeBob School of Learning, Sandy, where we take education really seriously. That's right. You've completely lost your mind, Sandy. That's why we brought you here to teach you all the fundamentals of learning. I ain't dumb, you talking notepad. I'm just a little crazy, that's all. Hmm. If you're not dumb, Sandy, then why don't you recite all the continents on that map behind you? Um, the first continent up there is the United Kingdom, I guess. Um, down there is, um, uh, Costa Rica, uh, that other land over there is, um, I'm guessing that's, uh, Arctica or something, I don't know, and that other continent right there is, uh, the Oceanic Crust. No, Sandy, you are wrong. The continents are North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, and Antarctica. Those are the continents. Now hold on a minute, I got one of them right. I said Arctica, isn't that it? It's Antarctica, not Arctica, Antarctica. You got it? Uh, SpongeBob, I don't think Sandy's ready for geography yet. Maybe we should do something a little simpler like the alphabet. Hmm, the alphabet? You might be up to something, Patrick. Okay, Sandy, since you're not too good with geography, we're gonna do something a little bit simpler, the alphabet. I already know my alphabet is 1232 or something. And, uh, 80 fur. No, Sandy, those are numbers, not the alphabet. But we'll get to those numbers pretty soon. Alright, Miss Cheeks, here's a video presentation of the alphabet, and please take accurate notes. Ooh, a computer monitor. I used to watch those a lot back in Texas. Eat glass, A, B, C! A is for apple, growing on a tree. Sandy, what the? Now this is my kind of entertainment. <laughs> so, SpongeBob, I guess the alphabet is out of the list. Got any other suggestions? Uh, let's move on to numbers, I guess. Okay, Sandy, since you didn't like the alphabet that much, we're gonna do our numbers now. Are you ready? Are you crazy? I already know my numbers. Uh, nuts. That's a number. Oh my god. Uh, okay, Sandy, um, how many people are in the room? Just take a wild guess. Hmm, I guess there's 32 million people in the room. 32 million. No, Sandy, there's only three people in the room. Me, you, and Spongebob. Three. Count with me. One, two, three. Well, shoot, I don't care. That was close enough anyways. 32 million, that's close enough to three. Not even close, Sandy. All right, Sandy, we're gonna give you one last chance, okay? All right, you see this globe over here? What's a globe? Oh my goodness. Uh, just look at it. Okay, how many globes do you see in the room? How many? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, there are no globes in the room. There are no globes. Are you freaking kidding me? Zero globes? Sandy, there is one globe in the room. Not 32 million, not zero, one. One globe. How was I supposed to know there was one globe? I thought there was zero. Zero means there's nothing in the room, you retard. Whoa, SpongeBob, I've never seen you this angry before. Uh, do you think we should teach Sandy one more subject? Yeah, one more subject. Let's do colors. Yeah, everybody likes colors. And I swear, if she gets this wrong, I'm going to strangle her. Uh-huh, I'm going to wrap my hands around her neck and strangle her. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, cause it is. This should be fun. Okay, Sandy, colors will be our last subject for today. And if you get these right, we will give you at least some credit, okay? I'm not sure what a credit is, but I think it sounds like a good thing. All right, Sandy, what color am I? Take a wild guess. Hmm, are you yellow or something? Oh my gosh, yes, Sandy, you are right. I am yellow, uh, you got it right. Uh, do Patrick next. Come on, Sandy, I know you can get this one right. What color am I? Hmm, let's see, you are a pink, pink. Yeah, you're pink. Oh my goodness, 
You're, you're right. I am pink. You, you got it right. I'm so proud of you. Okay, Sandy, this is your last chance to get this one right, okay? What color is your suit? Yes, yeah, Sandy, what color is it? What color is my suit? What? What? <gasps> SpongeBob, she's about to say it. Come on, Sandy, you got this, you got this. What? White? White. Yes, my suit is definitely white. Oh my gosh, Sandy, you are right. Your suit is white. Hooray! Hey, look, SpongeBob, Sandy's back to her normal self again. Yep, I guess all that knowledge really did pay off. Ah, uh, thank you guys so much for getting me out of that trance. I thought I was going to be stuck as being dumb forever. Oh, you're welcome, Sandy. Anything to help you out. Yep, Sandy. We're so glad to have you back with your scientific knowledge. Say, you two boys make pretty good teachers. Do you mind helping me out with an experiment? An experiment? Wow, that sounds like fun. You want to help out, SpongeBob? Do you really think I'm going to take no for an answer? Let's do it! Learning is fun, SpongeBob. You bet, Patrick. You bet. Here at SpongeBob School of Learning.